Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Hopefully, you all must be doing good. So, I have a Redmi 9 today, and a request came to show how to flash Pixel Plus UI Android 12 ROM on Redmi 9. And uh, I would like to inform that you can flash this Android 12 ROM on Redmi 9 Global. Either you have a European variant or you have a global variant. And also you can flash this ROM on Redmi 9 Prime, the India variant. Just check the code name must be lens lot. Well, I have already flashed the ROM and I have uh, already checked the ROM and believe me, it is an awesome ROM, very good performance, best to use for daily use. Well, I was checking it and I couldn't find a single bug while checking the ROM. And uh, you, if you are a lover of uh, Pixel Plus UI and if you are using Android 11, and after if you want to go to android 12 then i would like to inform you that must check the description of this video check the change lock what we are getting in this rom like uh, for uh, after flashing the android 12 what benefit we are getting from this android 12 pixel plus ui 4.1 version on redmi 9 you can watch and check out my rest of videos in case if you finding it helpful then just pay me back by subscribing my channel by tapping the red color subscribe button and also tapping the youtube bell icon then selecting all thank you for doing that you need to unlock the bootloader of the redmi 9 because this flashing procedure the custom rom cannot be flashed on lock bootloader i will provide the video tutorial video link in my video the video description you can watch that video how to unlock the bootloader of redmi 9 instantly without losing a data without losing a single data instantly unlock the bootloader and then you can flash the custom rom now uh, the second thing is to save all the internal storage data this procedure will format everything then check the battery should be charged minimum to 50 to 60 percent and then go to settings first i would like to show what miui version i have currently on my mobile phone I am having MIUI version 12.5.3, the global version and the Android version is 11. Now, in case if your set is on 12.5.0, 12.5.1 or 12.5.3, doesn't matter. You must have Android version 11 and you must have Android MIUI version 12.5 or 12.5.2 or 3. Then the Pixel plus UI ROM Android 12 will boot on the Redmi 9. And now go back to settings and then go to password and security. In case if you have set the lock screen password, then turn it off and come back to settings. Then go to my me account and sync your me account once, then must remove it. And then go back to account sync sync your google account once and then must remove it like i am having google account i'm going to remove it first and finally after doing all these things now you can simply power off the mobile phone we need a data cable and a computer for this flashing procedure now moving towards my computer screen this is my downloaded folder and obviously all the files links are provided in my video description just make a new folder and download all these files now in case if you have not installed the drivers of your xiaomi mobile phone then i will suggest you to download me flash 2017 first then extract it here and open the extracted folder install this me flash 2017 on your windows so what it will do like after booting this mobile phone into fast boot mode connecting it with more windows the windows will detect the set and will install the drivers that are required for the flashing procedure and we don't need this me flash for further use in this procedure 
just for the installing the drivers automatically and then extract the recovery for redmi 9 and this recovery also work on redmi 9 prime the india variant i have created a batch files which will make easy for flashing the custom recovery extract recovery redmi 9 here and open the extracted folder of redmi recovery redmi 9 you will see a bunch of files here this is the recovery file and these three files are the batch files created by me now moving towards my mobile phone mobile phone must be power off we need to boot the set into fast boot mode for that hold the data cable in your right hand and then hold the mobile phone in your left hand press and hold the volume down key connect the cable must check the other side of this cable connected with computer while holding the volume down key connect the cable the set will boot into fast boot mode immediately release the volume down key and i have released the volume down key my set is booted into fast boot mode now coming back towards my computer screen to show what we have to do further now just simply double click the flash one file the recovery will start flashing it will turn and the window will automatically close now double click the flash two file done and now that is it is time to double click the flash three file but after double clicking the flash three file the mobile phone will get restart so immediately press and hold the volume up key to let the set boot into custom recovery double click the flash three file and the set is gets rebooted now press and hold the volume up key for few seconds the set will boot into custom recovery then immediately release the volume up key my set is booted into orange fox custom recovery the internal storage will get appears on your computer screen you must double click the internal storage and check all the folders names must be in proper form so this is a good thing that the internal storage is not encrypted it is decrypted now come to the mobile phone screen tap the last menu and then tap the settings and tap display and make the brightness okay it's already full and make the time out to maximum now come back to the main screen then tap the first menu here now come to the computer screen and come back to the downloaded folder and we need to copy two files which are magisk 23.0.zib and rom file pixel plus ui 4.1 copy both files from here and come back to the internal storage of mobile phone and paste that both files in on internal storage of mobile phone and after copying the file we are done from the computer disconnect the cable from mobile phone you can close the computer now and now coming back towards my mobile phone now tap the third menu here and then tap the first partition dalvik second data do not select internal storage and third cache these three partitions need to be select just check it out okay nice and then swipe and when it is done tap back and tap the first menu to come to the internal storage tap the pixel plus ui rom file and then swipe to start flashing the rom now it will take a little bit time just wait for it and when flashing completed then tap here and come back to the main screen now i would like to root my mobile phone like after flashing the pixel plus ui rom because i need root to make the set device is certified and to get the safety net check passed now for that that is why i copy the magis application also here now in case if you do not want to root then follow my second step that i will do after rooting my set first of all for those who want to root now come to the internal storage tap the magis application here and swipe to start flashing to start routing wait for it 
and after the routing application get flashed again tap back and come back to the main screen now this is the most important part that we have to follow for those who flash the magis application to get the root and for those who do not want to flash the magis application they will also follow this part right away after flashing the rom come if you are on the main screen of internal storage then tap the third menu and then tap the format data and type yes and then tap here and when it is done then simply tap the reboot system the mobile phone will start booting into pixel plus ui rom 4.1 the android 12 version just wait for the first boot welcome to your pixel the first boot finally completed took around 1.5 minutes and complete the setup screen now finally we got the main screen of the pixel plus ui rom and the rom finally flashed and booted now i will go to settings just uh, will turn off this dark theme now it's look better and we'll go to about phone and uh, here we go if i uh, show we got the android version 12 on redmi 9 if i tap further on it here about phone pixel plus ui android version 12 pixel plus version is 4.1 device name is lava and you must see and check the base band version you must see and you must have the base band version numbers uh, below the base band version in case if you find the base band version is unknown which means that there was some mistake during flashing you will need to reflash the rom again now connect the internet on the mobile phone and after one set got connected with internet go to menu and you will see the magis icon in not in proper form tap on it and then tap ok tap settings turn on this option and then tap update tap done and now tap the magis uh, uh, icon which is, is now looking in proper form tap on it to open it and it will ask for to restart yes tap ok and let the set to reboot after rebooting unlock the screen set must be connected with the internet now tap the magis application once again and tap settings then turn on the magis height go back and tap the check safety net tap ok here we go and definitely you will see success i will go back and then tap the module section definitely you will see a bunch and a big list of the modules from where you can install on your mobile rooted mobile phone now i will go back and then go to settings once again tap on apps and then tap see all applications and look for the google play store here it is tap on it then tap storage and cache and tap clear storage tap ok and we are done now you can simply go to settings connect the mobile phone with internet log in your google account and simply tap the play store after logging into your google account and you will check the play store settings and about play store definitely you will find the set the device is certified and the safety net uh, check is also passed and we got uh, finally the android 12 version of uh, pixel plus ui on redmi 9 hopefully hopefully you got helped by this video do not forget to like the video do not forget to subscribe my channel Thank you so much. We'll see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.